Ladies, 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 I'm here tonight on the show. And I'm here tonight on the show. I'm here to talk about the Xfinity series race that just completed about about an hour ago, about half an hour, or about an hour and a half ago. This was a bizarre race towards all race, it was kind of bizarre. At the start, you had some, uh, basically around the 25th, 30th guys, they wrecked. Like, Joe Griff Jr. crashed, cut off, kind of cut off Jeffrey Earnhardt and wrecked himself, and Baccarella got involved, and then he crashed with John Jackson, apparently. The replays were trash. Like, the replays, I get you're not having many camera people, but the replays are just trash. I'm sorry. So... The dominant cars, or the people who I think had the best cars, it was either colleague racing cars, they were pretty good, or the junior motorsports. Unfortunately, we'll get to what happened later, but Brandon Jones <clears throat> caused a big wreck and took out all the junior cars. And then Justin Haley took the lead in, uh, in stage one. And then Vanderwall, McLeod, and Jeffrey Earnhardt crashed. And then Justin Haley won the first stage. Stage two, Almondinger. You have Almondinger take the lead away from Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill was up front. And then you have your big crash. Okay, so Brandon Jones gets a good run on Timmy Hill. He tries to cut, and he cuts off Briscoe. Or he pretty much came down on Briscoe. And then Jones turns. Gets turns himself in front of the field, takes out all four junior cars. They all went out of the race. Only Gregson was out of the race. And then Algar got involved. He blew a tire after that, and he was done. And took out Alex LeBay. Daniel Hamrick was nowhere to be seen after that wreck. Because he, he just had too much damage. But... It was Brandon Jones' fault. He cut off Briscoe and pretty much took out all half the field. And then after that, obviously, Allgaier blew a tire. And then Alex LeBay got involved. Joey Gase. So it was kind of a wreck fest for the first stage or two. Stage three, it was kind of calm. I'm like, this is boring. It's going to be boring finish. And then he had a debris caution. And Galding actually took the lead for a few for a little bit. But then Almondinger takes the lead and then he won the stage and stage three not much happened really i'm just being honest stage three not much happened until the very end one to go you have almondine leading chastain second i'm like oh my god this is gonna be a boring finish but then ross chastain goes to the bottom almondine your blocks and they wreck each other justin haley escapes out of that with the win gray Golding second this was crazy this was crazy I'm going to give this race 7 out of 10. I think it was a solid, good overall race. The rating really ha well, makes me put it down to 7 because of what happened in the second half after all the like good cars wrecked and then colleague was out front most of the second half. But congratulations to uh, Justin Haley. I wanna he just can only win at super speedways. There are tracks. He just can't seem to win. I'm not saying he's bad. It's just he can only seem to win at super speedways. So... That's all I'll say about this race. Until next time, Malcolm, I'll holla at your boy.